What is going on everybody? This is Major League Pops. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Today we've got a special episode. I, I know I kind of say that a lot, but I mean, technically it is a special episode because we're going to be reviewing a new release that just recently came out and I'm excited to share this release with you guys. So without further ado guys, let's get into the review. Let's check out some of these cool, awesome Pops. Let's go! Alright, so like I said, we're going to be checking out a new set, new line, a new review, so let's go. And we are going to start it off with, bam, we got Rafiki. Yes, we are reviewing the Lion King because as you guys know, or if you guys don't know, the new Lion King movie is coming out and I wouldn't mind going to check it out, so hopefully I will get to see it. So this is Rafiki number 551. Let's just take a look at how he is now. You know, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when I first saw the previews for Lion King, I don't know if I was too sold on it. But you know what? It looks like it's going to be a good little movie. And, uh, you know, I, I can't honestly believe how far they've come with cinematography or, you know, animation or graphics or just movie production in a whole because when I first saw the previews and everything, I'm thinking, th this is me just kind of maybe being naive. I'm like, are they using real animals? Like, do they train these animals? But then, like, somebody made a good point, like, you couldn't get, like, animals that are natural enemies to other animals to get along with each other to do a movie, which makes perfect sense. So I would hope that some of it might be real, but from what everything I know or I've heard, uh, it's all done by, you know, computers and everything. But honestly, it looks awesome. All right, so let's take a quick look at Rafiki. You guys all know that Rafiki is the wise monkey of everybody. And uh, yeah, this thing is just really nice looking. Check it out. Now, the only thing I would uh, change if I had to change anything with Rafiki is maybe I would put like a little cane in his hand or a little stick or something and maybe have him more in an upright position. I don't know. I've watched a lot of Lion King, you know, cartoons on the Disney Channel with my uh, youngest son, T-Ball. And uh, he's, he's more like st usually in a standing up motion, not really kneeing down like that. So that's probably the only thing that I would probably change. I really like how they got the different on the gray hair right here and then as you it's a salt, more of a salt color hair right here and then as you get to the top it turns more gray so I like how they did that detail I like how they got his nose nice and red you got a little blue right here on his cheeks I really like this one this one's actually really nice so check it out we got Rafiki from the Lion King so it'll be interesting to see kind of what role he plays in the movie um I, honestly I don't know if the movie is basically a repeat of the cartoon I don't know what else they could really do to change up the movie to make it look different so I'm suspecting that it's going to be similar to the cartoon but in that case they could have gave Rafiki a little bit of an older look to him because he does look kind of young uh in this figure so we'll see we'll see but the details on Rafiki are really nice. So there you go. There's a nice one. All right. So let's put Rafiki back. So let's check out the next one. And the next one that we have is Boom Timon. By the way, guys, this is number 549. In the Lion King set, you have Simba, Scar, Timon, Pumbaa, Rafiki. So those are the ones you have. Now, here is another one where uh, Timon just looks really young to me. He doesn't really look that old or anything. I guess this is more um, designed to be uh, when Simba is at a younger age and when he first meets Timon and Pumbaa. That's honestly just kind of my guess. So that's why I'm kind of wondering what direction the movie is going to go more into because these uh, figures just look really young. Uh, this one almost doesn't even look like Timon. This one kind of looks like one of the prairie dogs or something like that. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think of this one. Uh, it's not bad. I like the detail, but uh, yeah, I kind of like older Timon a little bit better. All right, let's get on to the next one. And the next one, of course, we are going to check out, bam, Pumbaa. Now, for some reason, Pumbaa shakes in here. I don't know why. It's just a vinyl figure. Apparently, he doesn't fit that good in the box, but that's okay. Let me just uh, take him out to see, one, to look at him and see if I can maybe put him back in a little bit better. By the way, these were some of the uh, Funko Pops that we picked up from Hot Topic when they were doing their uh, Hot Cash. 
okay there we go yeah he just looks a little small for the packaging uh not bad i like the details again my only complaint of course is this is a younger pumba so i wish they would have kind of made him a little bit older now it would have actually been kind of cool if he had like a little caterpillar or some sort of bug like showing from his mouth or something that just would have looked really cool so check that one out check out the awesome details with this hair in the back i really love his uh, tusk right there his horns coming out of the side right there because he is a warthog and yeah man this one just looks really nice i just wish they would have put a couple little bugs on him that would have been a nice little addition since they eat bugs right so i mean they could have maybe put like a little bug platter down at his feet or something i don't know just something to do with bugs like maybe on him or around him i'm just saying the next one we are going to take a look at of course is bam scar Obviously, this is a younger Scar, but man, they really made Scar look ferocious. Check that out. That is just a really nice one. This is number 548. So that is nice. I really like the details with the teeth. The teeth look really mean. Uh, the only thing uh, I might have did differently on this one is that they showed like the little whisker holes, but they don't have any like whiskers actually coming out. Would have been kind of nice maybe to have a couple little like whiskers kind of coming out because you know that's what the lions typically would have would be some whiskers. He's got his scar on his one side of his eye going down across his eye and then he has a couple little scars on his other eyes but man this one just looks really good he's in an attack type position or an aggressive type position so looks really nice that is a nice one put that one back and the very last one of course is bam we got simba now simba looks okay uh realistically he looks really timid in this pose i'm not really sure why i guess maybe uh this is right before he takes off uh, he runs away i don't know he just looks really timid in this pose and uh, i guess that's kind of how it's supposed to be um i would have liked him to have at least even if he's not like in an aggressive type pose or anything i would have liked him to be more of a happier pose i guess because yeah i'm not really sure what's going on with his facial features so you guys tell me what you guys think of the lion king funko pops for the most part i would say they're very good ones um i would pick them up if i was you guys now my favorite one like i said are rafiki and pumba and scar is really nice so those probably would be the three main ones that i would pick up if uh you guys are only just picking up a couple just you know simba is just uh yeah simba's okay and like i said Timon, uh, yeah, Timon's Timon. I mean, nothing really special about that one, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment sections if you guys picked up a set. Let me know what you guys think of the overall design as well. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. It will help my video. If you are new to the channel, thank you for watching. And if you don't mind, can you hit that subscribe button and hit your notifications? And of course, guys, if you want to follow me on social media, you can always do that at Major League Hats with the Z and I'll provide the link down here at the bottom. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my Lion King Funko Pop review and I will see you in the next video. All right, Major League Pops out. Bye everybody. See ya.